Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, done my analysis on YouTube channel but uh, today uh, we are going to continue uh, from where we left. So in today's video I'm going to present my analysis on gold and silver. We are also try to look at the stock market, the major forex pairs and I'll also try to look at the cryptocurrency. So uh, we can start from uh, we can start from gold and silver. Then we'll switch to the stock market. Then we'll look at forex major pairs, and in the end we'll look at Bitcoin, especially, and or we can also look at Ethereum as well. So let's start with our uh, first thing that we have is uh, gold and silver and miners. Okay. So within gold and silver, we are first going to look at gold. And the whole reason there is no labeling is that I wanted to uh, ask you a question, a simple question. That are we done with A, B, C right over here or uh, we are to see further price movement downward. Here's uh, what I'm thinking right now. I do understand that first of all uh, that we have a larger trend that's going on. So we need to keep that in mind still. The correction that actually started way back and over here in 2011 we need to keep an eye on that uh, we can definitely tell that the swing that the trend actually starts from over here we have seen some break right over here and then we forecasted the jump from over here and then we have seen the prices move over here so my personal opinion is that we have still not completed this correction yet and I'm expecting that we have seen a part of correction over here another part of correction over here and then we are to expect another pullback right over here all right so I'm not this is what I'm seeing the next thing that we can discuss about is where exactly the labels the wave labelings are and I'll try to present the support and resistance studies uh, so that we can get a feel of which is the main direction of the trend by looking at support and resistance structures let's uh, switch to the da daily time frame and uh, right over here so one can clearly see that the uh, the high was formed over here and we have lower low and a lower high and a lower low and a lower high so this continued right from till bottom till we actually saw double bottom I was bullish right at this point and then we have seen prices moving all the way up over here we did see a very deep correction uh, but it has not gone beyond the start of this correction uh, this is more clear on a lot of uh, we can see that GDX is more clear right over here we can see right over here that the prices went over here and then the, the prices did not go beyond the previous structure so this is this is working good we can clearly see that we are probably looking at a wave structure uh, which actually started from over here this gives us some idea that we are looking at an impulsive move and a correction and then we have also looking at an impulsive move and see what's happening in that regard the correction should be followed uh, so I'm I'm once again um, and before we continue at the at the structure as well uh, we need to understand where the, uh, the the support and resistance or what uh, what uh, level or ranges are to be used first of all this range is where this support level is very important we can see the tests right occurring right over here and this over here so when prices went up they did not have enough strength to go all the way up over here and consider that this is the completion of the structure so this structure that went up and then prices brought down right over here we can clearly see that this support is now nullified by the price action right over here we have another support that's going on for a while and that's the ending uh, the in the angular support that we have on gold and gold chart right over here so we can clearly see that not only we have uh, dropped below the horizontal support we have also dropped below this green line support as well giving us an idea that we are looking for a major pattern right now and this is what I'm going for right now that we are looking for a major pattern that actually started from over here or over here that has to go further downward and this is what the support and resistance studies is telling to so let's have a look and see uh, what the prices are doing on a smaller time frame and what I'm looking at at prices so let me bring that in a little so personally I'm considering and that we are to complete a correctional structure yet all right uh, give me a moment 
first of all um, part of Monday is expected to be bullish I'm expecting that we are to see prices somewhere around 1812 and 1815 range right over here and that should be completing the wave this one that actually started from over here I'm looking at this wave as a zigzag a three wave structure starting from this bottom and the, the reason I'm looking at three wave structure is because I'm looking at this as a three wave structure and this as a three wave structure and expecting that we are going to see prices move downward in this regard uh, somewhere back in 1700 range alright it once again came a little lower, lower but initially I'm looking for the prices to reach somewhere around 1700 range and when prices are around that area we can do some more analysis of where the prices are going either further down a little or what's going to expect after this point so right now I'm expecting that this pattern that actually started from over here is yet not complete this pattern so I'm considering it as a, a and a B a right over here and a C now this pattern is a little different uh, in, in silver so we look at silver uh, when we go there on that chart so just so that you don't miss the point uh, I wanted to uh, notify you here so I'm expecting once again half a day of Monday uh, to be uh, creating a top somewhere around 1812 ish to 1815 ish I'm not expecting strong movement beyond 1815 ish uh, that gives us that important point that where should we uh, be putting our uh, stop loss in that regard we can be already trading in that r range right over here so I think a 20 point beyond 1815 would be a good stop loss if we get caught we get caught that's part of the uh, the trading business you need to understand that's what I'm going to go with my trading setup and then we are looking for almost a hundred dollar drop so that's an easily one to ratio five stop um, uh, risk to reward ratio and pretty good one so please do understand that when providing this analysis this is an analysis and we are doing speculation right now this is no uh, way some investment we are because we are trying to pick up the smaller trends and trying to make some money so this is exactly speculation and we are trying to use uh, methodologies to find our edge in speculation let's have a look in, in silver and see how uh, prices are behaving in silver now silver is more strong no doubt right um, and I'm expecting silver to be more strong on Monday as well I'm expecting that we are to continue uh, price moving further upward and I think I brought the level let me uh, okay there you go so I'm expecting a little more strength right over here uh, 23 something area so I'm expecting the quite a good of strength on Monday as well because we already have seen strength and I'm expecting that this would actually continue so I'm expecting we shall be seeing I think 2350 uh, was the sorry 2450 not 2350 2455 uh, is an important level once prices reach there we can definitely put our stop loss at the at this one which is 2617 and then we are to expect prices to go uh, give us a significant drop the structure on silver is a little messy and that's what I said uh, that we are to expect a significant drop after that let me bring the horizontal support right over here so we can actually use that point and uh, to keep in mind that 26 24 is going to be our stop loss and I think 2455 or 2450 uh, where we are expecting the prices to be uh, in a on Monday I session I think so 2455 uh, where it is So I'll put 2453 right over here. You can definitely drag it down to 2450. And I'm expecting that we are to go on the on the bearish side after that. And I need to bring uh, this trend line as well. This trend line has been doing a good job uh, for keeping the price on the downside. That actually started from over here. So I'm expecting the same thing. The prices are expected to go and touch the trend line and then bounce off on the downside. And I'm expecting that we are going to see a significant drop in the price of silver. Uh, and this is going to be a very good trading opportunity once again I'm not expecting for the prices to shoot beyond 2455 especially if price goes beyond 2624 that will be uh, a negative that will mean that I'm wrong in my analysis so I'm expecting that we are going to see 
uh, prices behave uh, and respect this uh, support line, this grid support line as well. Uh, this is gold and silver. Let's have a look at uh, GLD. Uh, someone was mentioning it on uh, YouTube and they're saying GLD is performing worst. So I want to see GLD. How is GLD doing? Okay. Let's have a look at GLD um, and see how GLD is doing. Okay. Awesome. This is an ETF on uh, um, S&P, I think. New York. There you go. So, it's not that bad. What did they say? They said that bad. As computed gold itself, and some uh, we we look at GDX if uh, local uh, GDX. The GDX is performing even worse as compared to GLD. Where is that GLD chart? I'll have to um, probably add that to our connection uh, collection right over here. Let me add that quickly to our uh, watch list and then add GL to watch list. Yeah add that to minus not watch list there you go so uh, GLD is not doing that bad we kind of see the same pattern that we have seen on gold as well and we are kind of seeing an A, B and a C structure right over here the C structure is still going on so you can call it as an A, a B structure and the C is going on we have completed the A wave and we are going to A, B and C and then move upward a little too much let me and draw that okay let me draw that if you are interested in GLD and uh, then this is what we are seeing right now so we can see the start of the pattern right over here we have A and we have B we can clearly see the price went a little beyond that so we cannot use one two three four five so an A B and C structure is much reasonable so we have an A a B and a C structure um, by that I strictly means W, X and Y structure, okay? It's a double zigzag I'm considering, um, pardon me for using, so I'm expecting that this is a complete zigzag and then we D has, this is another zigzag and this is going to be another zigzag. This is what I'm expecting right now. Uh, I need to bring somewhere over here. So uh, whether we're gonna see on hourly chart that we are going to see uh, the prices jump up. We already have seen a uh, price ju jump up a little. So I'm not sure whether the market opens and then we are going to see the push a little push upward or not. But if the market is open 24-7, then we are going to see a little push upward. And then I'm expecting the prices to draw further now. So in that regard, we are considering that this is the start of the pattern. This is wave A and that's going to be wave B. And then we are going to see a sharp movement downward and there's a possibility that we are going to see uh, 158 touch right over here. From this one, I'm expecting that we are going to make a U-turn right over here and continue upward. So there's, I don't know why they said GLD is performing worst as compared to gold itself. So this is enough of gold, silver, and we have already looked at GLD as well. If you're interested in GLD, you'll, uh, you know, you'll have some idea of what is expected in miners. Let's have a look and see how the stock market itself is doing. So, there you go. I'm not going to discuss all of the stock market. We, let's just make a, make a pick, okay? We can look at NASDAQ and um, Dow Jones, okay? Dow Jones is stronger and NASDAQ is weaker as compared to Dow Jones. So, we can look at quickly that and see how things are doing right over here. So, NASDAQ is right over here. And here is NASDAQ. So the pattern, as you guys can see, uh, when I started, when I told you guys that we are to see go down, all right, you don't know you are buying your, uh, I was told that I was going to be, I missed the bottom, so that's why I was bearish right over here. So anyway, I still remember that. So right from the bottom, you're expecting the Ford prices to go up. We have seen prices going up and we have seen prices going up better in Dow Jones right over here so at right at this point we were bullish and see what has happened in Dow Jones as well pretty interesting uh, and right now we need to understand where where we are going from over here so let's go first of all to Nasdaq 
let me go to the hourly time frame and see uh, where the things are right now we have right over here okay so and this is what I'm looking at it I'm right now looking at that the we are going to see a little push upward and then we are to see price movement downward and that would be completing the pattern that actually started from over here so I'm expecting that we're going to see a little push upward on the upside It's not going to be that strong um, at least this is what I'm thinking and then we are to see kind of double top coming handy and then we are to see price movement downward right over here can it go all the way down right over here? I do not think so. I think that we are going to find our support in this region, right over here. So, if we, and from there, uh, we'll actually see uh, prices jump up. Okay. So this is now on on smaller time frame. But if you are interested, this is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, we will have to keep an eye, close eye, on once again on the support on the support as well, so that the support maintains. So this behavior is expected in NASDAQ and once that is complete uh, then we are definitely definitely bearish. Uh, nice thing interesting going on in cryptocurrency is that cryptocurrency has kind of diverged off from the uh, stock indices so we'll discuss that and uh, say where things are going. Let's have a look at Dow Jones though. Things are looking a little too, uh, different in Dow Jones and by that I mean because we already have completed kind of um, a very interesting um, price going on on the upper side so we need to understand what's happening could there be a possibility that we are going to come down all the way right over here there is a possibility that we can actually see uh, prices coming down because it's has uh, gone way up in that territory uh, in the bullish territory right over here so I'm expecting that we are to see price movement a little upward on Monday and then we'll start seeing prices moving downward and then we can see this this behavior in Dow Jones. So once that is happening, then you guys understand what I'm saying. We are to see one more push upward to see a final top in Dow Jones, and then we shall be preparing on the bearish side. So a lot of price movement we can see uh, that a lot of behavior, strong behavior is expected on the bearish side from the indices as well. On a smaller time frame, we have three wave structure, three wave structure, and a five wave structure. Uh, at least this is what I'm looking at on a right now. All right? We can say that we can attach this to the previous structure, and we can say that this is a completely different structure. We can definitely can call it as a W X Y Z, a triple zigzag, or we can definitely push it to that if you want. But for now, I think this is what we are going to see. We are going to see prices move down, going up, give us a final top, and then go prices downward. That means there are quite uh, a lot of stocks that can actually make a top right over here around this. And when they fall down, they are going to fall uh, stronger. And there is possible that for some stocks, we are going to see the top on Monday. <coughs> my apologies. So we have already discussed NASDAQ and Dow Jones. Um, you've got my views on gold and silver as well. Uh, let's have a look and see how the uh, Forex market is doing. okay okay so dollar index let's have a look okay so the pattern right from the top here um, what do you guys think what, what's going on right from the top are there, have we received had we reached the top already what's going on okay make up your mind and this is what I'm looking at right now this is what I believe So immediately I think we are going to see strength coming back in US dollar. That means the weakness is expected against uh, US dollar. Uh, so we are on Monday, let's have a look on a full one hourly ta chart here. So I'm expecting once again that we are to move a little down and then we are to see sharper movement upward. This is the major move that we are to expect in US dollar. I am right now bear, uh, bullish on US dollar itself for I would say next few days alright next few trading days so we have we have A and wave B and wave C 
this is what I'm right now looking at uh, for US dollar okay let's have a look and uh, see if you can find similar uh, patterns in euro okay once again similar pattern only on the upside uh, only in the opposite side so we are uh, to expect a stronger price movement in euro I'm expecting a stronger price movement on the bearish side in euro after Monday on the downside you can figure out your stop losses from your own either you want to break uh, want to see the break of this uh, is up to you uh, how you want to trade is up to you uh, British pound is I think showing a similar structure all right once again we are looking this structure is as wave A and this as continuation of wave B within wave B we have seen an A B and C and a correction and a wave A, a B and a C so we are seeing W X and Y and this is a three wave structure a three wave structure and a sharper move downward a lot of people are going to get surprised I do understand that uh, it's getting a little complicated at this time uh, how can a sharper move follow from uh, new high, uh, new structures new highs being formed the reason is because I think that we are going on and completing a structure is called expanded flat we can pull back all the way down right over here be really really careful so I would say this is the structure I'm right now looking at it so Monday we are gonna see a little high and then we are to see price movement downward in this regard against US dollar euro and British pound both are expected to be bullish uh, I mean bearish against US dollar similar thing goes for um, let's have a look Canadian dollar was going a little diff different okay could there be a possibility that we have not completed this move yet already okay and could there be a possibility that we can actually bring this move all the way right over here because couple of things if this move comes over here and then we are looking it as a W and X and a Y or we can consider it as an A a B and a C structure but uh, let's say that if that move does not uh, end over here and then we find the next support right over here and we can easily go through this support in this regard we are looking for an A structure a B structure and a C structure right over here so be really careful there is looking like the Canadian dollar has more strength left to go uh, if, if it's aiming for this level and then reverse a bit so this is a little different from what we are seeing in uh, British pound and euro Japanese yen if you are looking at it and you see that you have a miss your opportunity do not worry about it uh, a similar kind of structure wave A and wave B structure let's say that I'm I'm wrong there is a possibility that we see prices coming down in that regard instead of pricing to go all the way right over here this is my first analysis and we are looking at it as an A a B and a C structure sharper a 5F structure if that is not the case there is the possibility that we can go prices up down right over here and form a flat pattern just below that pattern so two possibilities I'm expecting for the prices to come down and then go all the way right over here in this regard the second possibility that we are going to create a structure that will actually top around this level uh, for Japanese yeah. uh, that's it for Forex let's have a quick look on uh, crypto a lot of people are interested in crypto and whether the uh, the bottom is in or not let's go and see where is Forex in this there is crypto okay and uh, some of the currencies that I have been uh, doing a little research so don't don't worry about it we we'll look at Ethereum and we we'll look at Bitcoin as well let me have a quick look at Bitcoin I'm straight away seeing a pattern yeah good God okay let's have a look at four hourly time frame the beautiful thing that I have found in, in Ethereum and uh, all of the cryptocurrency is that they have kind of uh, moved down even the stock market has gone up 
and the reason I'm saying beautiful uh, is, is because it is giving an indication that we are close uh, to forming uh, to forming a bottom okay so if you're close to forming a bottom th that I agree with uh, I do not think so that, that we are not going to uh, see a lot of time uh, to be left in in crypto all right there's finally I see I've been look, looking at the chart okay the question is uh, okay and All right, that's the beauty of uh, looking at prices and trying to find pattern is that you can actually uh, correlate things. And so starting from that point, we're definitely heading downward and we are seeing, trying to see a structure and we definitely have found a structure on a smaller time frame as well and I'll point it to you guys over here give me a moment this structure is definitely not bullish it's a corrective structure you guys are well aware of it we have A wave B and wave C a 3 wave structure 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure So uh, this is I'm expecting right now that we are kind of seeing some sort of ending diagonal pattern. That would mean that we do not have a lot of price movement left on the bearish side. That means that we are going to see these price movements and anyway on this line is a good buy. So as long as you're not buying way in deeper in the correction any way on this trend line on the bottom line is, is a good trend line is a, is a good point to buy so right now I'm kind of looking it as that we have completed a pattern almost uh, we're about to complete the correction this flat correction and from over here we are to see another drop all right and that drop right now because Ethereum is now trading as 1270 and if that drop occurs right over here we are coming back to around 700 and 800 and there is a possibility that we'll see some more correction right over here and another drop right over here but I think this is going to be a good buy because we are still not sure where exactly the labeling is so we do not want to be working it uh, bad so I think the next drop is going to be very interesting point to buy and I'm not expecting that this will actually uh, capitulate and all of a sudden we will lose all sorts of support around over here okay but I'm definitely looking this is a correctional structure and one more low and then we'll look at the structure and see how the structure is because right we have to keep a close eye on this structure as well alright and does that mean that we are looking at as an A, a B structure and a C structure? That's exactly that means that we are looking uh, to create a bottom for a longer period of time. Once prices reach right over here and the price structure goes up over here, the next target, the big time target is going to be Ethereum upward right over here. And this goes again uh, similar for the currencies that are strong. Uh, so by w what does that mean for? It means that you should do some research on the fundamentals as well okay see the part what look at the uh, the currencies that are actually stronger see what kind of patterns are in them and see similar patterns in the other currencies as well so uh, this is very good thing we are looking another a uh, low downward another price movement downward as well so very very interesting thing to happen in Ethereum and let's we can quickly do uh, a quick uh, analysis right over here so we definitely have an A and a B and we are looking for a C to complete we have kind of completed a wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 
so we are kind of a very close to the completion line in Bitcoin right over here let me delete that and let me see where the prices are let me hide everything okay awesome yeah we are very very close uh, to the completion right now there is a possibility that we can uh, complete it as um, another five wave down from over here all right so we have kind of wave one and two and three and four and five so there is a good possibility in that regard or we can say that this is wave one and this hole is wave two and this right now wave three is going on right now and four and five so there is a chance on that regard i think that's more likely to happen and much better uh, labeling than what i was saying earlier I'm trying to label it uh, in, in a better way. Give me a moment, please. There we go. So we can consider it as wave 1 right over here and this hole as wave 2 or wave 2 ended right over here but I think wave 2 ended right over here and right now we are going to wave 3 and then a correction and wave 4 and 5. So not a lot of price wound is left uh, in, in cryptocurrency, we are very, very close uh, to the bottoms being formed in cryptocurrency. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.